What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com, and this is the problem of the day. It's time to get our learn on. All right, we want to solve this equation for x, so if you could, pause this, give it a shot, try something, and then tune back in, and we'll see if you got it right. Ready? Pause, and resume. Okay, all right, so our first step in solving this equation, we notice that it's got absolute value, so therefore it makes us nervous, right? Because we're like, wait, what does absolute value is? It means that whatever's in there, you're going to take away the negative. But what it means for solving a problem where the x is inside there, it means starting from the bottom, now we're here. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is gotta, we gotta isolate the absolute value on one side of the equal sign. So that means I gotta get the four over here. Okay, so right now it's four times this. So you wanna picture it almost like parentheses. So it's four times that. The trick is to divide by four, both sides. That would cancel out. We've got absolute value two x plus five equals three. All right, now what we're gonna do is we have to do essentially to drop this we have to give both possibilities of what could happen over here with this three. So to get rid of these, we gotta do plus or minus negative three, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve it. We got this version, which is two x plus five equals positive three. And then we got our other version, which is two x plus five equals negative three. And then we solve it for both equations and we can find our two versions of x. All right, so we subtract five from both sides, cancels out, two x equals negative two, divide by two, x equals negative one. That's one possibility. And then we've got this one. So we subtract five from both sides, that cancels out, two x equals negative eight, divide by two, x equals negative four. All right, now we can plug it in up here in our original and figure out to see if it works. So let's plug negative one in. So two times negative one is negative two, plus five is three, and then we'd multiply. There's no negative to get rid of, so it'd stay three. Three times four is 12, 12 equals 12. So the first one works, cha-ching. Let's try our second one, negative four. So two times negative four is negative eight. Negative eight plus five is negative three. The absolute values would kill the negative three out of there by negative, and then three times four is 12, 12 equals 12, this one works as well. So we got both of our correct answers from this equation. If you could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which you're watching right now. Check me out on social media at Tyler Tarver. TarverAcademy.com has all of your mathematics needs. Peace.